I'm Ellie from The Dark Imp, helping parents reclaim family time by playing board games together. Now, when I was 23, I moved back home with my mum, except home had changed places. We used to live in Cambridge. I was born and brought up in Cambridge. And while I was away working on cruise ships in the Caribbean, she moved to Oxford. So I returned to a smaller house with my mum and my granny living there. And it was just the three of us. Uh, we lived together and I knew what I was going to do a few months in the future. So this was in the January of 1999. And in the September, I knew I was going to go and train as a teacher. So I already had that planned. I got my place. It was all sorted. And I had this sort of nine month period where I was wondering what to do. Um, so, you know, I looked through the paper and thought, OK, what's going on in Oxford? Let What jobs are there happening? I'll see what I can find. And um, one of the things that caught my eye was Guide Friday. Now, Guide Friday is a, a sort of open top tour bus, a, a tourist bus that goes around Oxford. It's in several different places. I, I don't know if they still exist, actually. I think they may have been replaced by the, the big sightseeing tour red buses. But they used to, to uh, exist in, in several uh, cities across the UK. And there was sort of a beige and green bus. And what distinguished Guide Friday from other buses was that instead of having a sort of recording that you listen to in your own language, which is quite useful for tourists, you have a live guide at the front of the bus, um, at the top of the top, you know, at the front of the top deck, uh, talking to you in real time and pointing out things that you can see. So I thought, OK, this job is perfect for me. I'd never lived in Oxford, knew nothing about Oxford at all. I were, but I'd done I'd done a drama degree. I thought I can stand up there, I can talk, I can engage people. I'm good at engaging people. So so that's why so I applied for this program, got into the program. There was a six week training course, which involved uh, one night a week going and listening to lectures about Oxford, a whole book, like a massive manual that you had to look through and learn, really. Lots of facts and history um, about Oxford architecture. You know, you really had to get to, to grips with the place quite quickly. Um, but also on the weekends, we would have full days of going around on buses as a small group of five or six of us and doing different sections of the route each. So standing up with a microphone now the first time and you don't really know what you're doing is absolutely hilarious. And this is really a game. And that's why I loved it. The game was, OK, look, we're doing the same route all the time. We don't ever deviate from the route. You know exactly what and it's supposed to last about an hour. But of course, it's traffic dependent. Some days, there's far less traffic than others and your route might happen quite quickly. And other days you could be stuck for hours in one place or in multiple places around the route. And what you had to do as part of the part of the rules really was to keep talking. Um, that's great and fine if you've got this huge knowledge of uh, of Oxford to talk about and all sorts of interesting things. And if you didn't, you sort of had to blag it. And that was where the fun was. So, you know, so when you were when you were going around the town, you knew that at certain points you had to say, all turn to your left. There's the Sheldonian Theatre or you can just see the Radcliffe Observatory through if you look now, because, of course, we were in the bus. We weren't getting out and walking and say and we couldn't go up to things and have a look. Uh, sometimes and the bus would just keep going. Sometimes you only caught a glimpse of things. If you look now, you'll catch a glimpse of the old city walls. So um, you got you got really used to when those moments were that you had to getting to look, but it was filling the space around the other things. So you could be in the middle of a story about something and then uh, suddenly the traffic picks up and you find, oh no, you're supposed to talk about Christchurch now. And there was a bit where you're going past Christchurch College where you're supposed to be talking about uh, Lewis Carroll. Um, and then there were the boring bits where you're supposed to be talking about uh, Francis Bacon or something, you know, when there's nothing much to look at. 
And there were times when things went wrong. I mean, it didn't matter if things went wrong during training, but there were times after training when things went wrong and particularly early on. And I didn't do it for very long because to be honest, the excitement was the sort of the training and the getting it, you know, to, to getting started and learning how to become good at this game. Uh, but I did do it for a little while. Um, and I remember some, you know, actually, there's one story which has kind of gone down in family law about when I, because when you go past Oxford Castle, you're supposed to talk about um, William the Conqueror and the Norman Conquest. And I was just going on and on about Norman the Conqueror. And so now people in the family always mention Norman the Conqueror to me. And, you know, there are other times when I got the names of the Oxford University terms mixed up. They're Michaelmas, Hillary and Trinity. And I get them mixed up and make up names for them. And by and large, you kind of got away with it because almost everybody that was on the bus was a tourist. So it was just this game of how long can you talk for? And I remember on one tour, we got stuck for hours and hours on um, High Street. And uh, that's where a lot of the colleges are there. And there's usually, usually it goes reasonably quickly down High Street. And it's better now because they've changed the traffic. But yeah, this, this one time I just ran out of things to say. And quite a lot of the people just got off because, of course, it's going to be much quicker to walk. Uh, but there were a few people that stuck with it through, through the hours on this uh, on High Street. And I had to keep talking. So I was talking about all sorts of things. Nothing to do with Oxford, all sorts, you know, are interviewing people on the bus and trying to, get, you know, trying to keep the trying to keep the uh, the chat going. So it was really a game, a game in, you know, how long can you speak for a bit like just a minute without hesitating or uh, deviating? Well, there was a lot of deviation. How can you keep talking and show the things you need to show at the right times? Uh, can you keep saying things that are interested and keep people on the bus? It's a game. And that's why it was exciting.